What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Take Me to Church by Hozier on the good old uke. So as always with every video that I upload here on YouTube, I will include a skip to section right here so you can skip to the chords, the strumming. You don't have to watch the entire video if you don't want to. Again, everything will be right here. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you skip ahead. I totally get it. Um, but also what I do want to mention is I did do a full play along for this song. So if you're watching this in the future, I'll link it right up here. It'll say click here for full play along. I'll also link it in the description and also in the top comments. So definitely go check that video out after you've watched this one and you've learned the chords and the strumming and you can play along with the full song with me. It has the lyrics and chords on the screen. So it's super easy just to follow along and play. So the chords that you need for this song are A minor, B7, C, C minor, D, E minor, F, and last but not least, G. So if you're like, Ricky, I know how to play all those chords. Let's move on to the strumming section. I got you. I'm going to again put the skip to section right here so you can skip to whatever part in the video that you want. But if you're like, Ricky, I just started playing last week, yesterday, an hour ago. Please help me. Don't worry. This is why this video exists. We're going to go step by step on where to put our fingers on the uke for each chord, and then we'll move on to strumming. So if you want to learn how to play each chord, then just keep on watching. But before we go into chords, let's talk about how we number the strings and the frets. So if you're like, Ricky, what is this beautiful uke that you have? This is the Lava U ukulele. It's a tenor size in the color blue. It's an absolutely amazing color. I'll leave a link to uh, where you can get this in the description. Highly recommend that you check these out. They have an amazing, and you can also change the effects on the uke, so you don't need an amp. But we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So if you want to learn more about this uke, then watch till the end. But let's talk about how we number the strings and the fret. So let's pick up our uke. And uh, the top string is going to be the fourth string. The next one down is going to be the third. The next one down is going to be the second. And the last one at the bottom, you probably guessed it, that's going to be the first string. So it's going to be four, three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and look at our fretboard. And as you can see, you have these lines right here. So it's gonna be first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and then so on. So if you do need a little bit more time, make sure to press the pause button right now and just get really familiar with the strings and the frets. So if I were you, I'd press the pause button if you're unsure, just take a look at the strings. You'd be like, all right, got those down. Look at the fretboard. Boom, got them down. Then if you have everything down and you're familiar with everything, make sure to press the play button and let's talk about these chords. So as always, I will be putting a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers right here on the uke. I feel like it just helps a lot when you can visually see and then also hear me talk you through it. So the first chord that we need is the A minor chord and how I like to play this one is I like to play it with my middle finger. I like to place my middle finger on the fourth string, which again is the top string fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the B7 chord, and how I like to play this one is I like to take my pointer finger, and I like to go over all four strings on the second fret. So again, you're taking your pointer finger and you're resting it over all four strings and you're pressing down on the strings. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the third string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the C chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place your ring finger on the first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is a C minor chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna go over the bottom three strings. So the third, second, and first string, you're gonna leave the fourth string open. You're gonna wanna make sure that your finger is not touching the, the top string, which is the fourth string. So again, it's gonna be the strings three, two, one on the third fret and it should sound like this. <laughs> 
The next chord that we need is the D chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna go over the top two strings, which is the fourth and third string on the second fret. So you just kinda kinda put your finger over both strings and then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the second string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the E minor chord and how I always say it looks like a staircase going down. How we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place it on the first string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the second string, third fret. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place it on the third string, fourth fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the F chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. And the last chord that we need is the G chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place it on the third string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the first string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place it on the second string, third fret, and it should sound like this. So those are all the chords that you need for this song. Again, if you do need a little bit more time, make sure to press the pause button right now and just get really familiar with where you need to put your fingers for each chord and also transitioning between the chords, making sure that it's clean and crisp because if you have a muted sound, that basically just tells you that you're not pressing down enough, you're not putting enough pressure on the strings, or you just kind of need to reposition your fingers, making sure that they need to be where they need to be. So as soon as you get that down, you feel comfortable with playing and then transition between the chords. Press play and let's talk about the strumming. All right, so we just talked about chords, and now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song. So before I talk about the strumming patterns for this song, I do wanna note that if you're a super beginner and you're like, Ricky, I'm not that comfortable yet strumming and singing at the same time, you can literally just do down strums whenever you see a chord change. So that will all that will be in the description below. You can copy and paste the lyrics and the chords. I have that for you in the description. So make sure to copy and paste that so you can see that like right in front of you as well. But the down strumming would just sound like this. My lover's got humor. She's a giggle at a funeral. So literally you're just strumming. Uh, which makes the song sound amazing. It sounds really cool. It sounds like you're stripping it down But if you're like Ricky, I came here for the strumming pattern. Well, then let's talk about that next All right, so there's gonna be a couple different strumming patterns in the song So let's talk about the chorus strumming pattern. So for the chorus It's the take me to church or like a dog that that part so you're gonna start with an E minor chord and it's going to be down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So again, with the E minor chord down, it's going to be down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And you're gonna do that strumming pattern twice for every chord. So it's going to be, take me to church one, two, shrine of your lies one, two, sharp in the knife one, A minor, And then A, G. So again, it's going to be twice. So it's going to be take me to church. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down. Sharpen your knife, offer me that deathless death and good guy. And then the ending part, and good guy, let me give you my life. And then you're going to do A minor, which is going to be down, chuck, up, and then G. So again, for the chorus, if you just want to keep it simple, you do the strumming pattern twice, which is this one. The down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So you're gonna do that twice for every chord that you see in the chorus. Now, for the bridge, 
you're gonna do that strumming pattern, the down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. You're gonna do that once in the in the bridge. So again, chorus, you're gonna do that strumming pattern twice. The bridge, you're gonna do it once. So if you're unfamiliar what the bridge is for the song, it's the no masters or kings when the ritual begins. So that part. So you're gonna do that once, that strumming pattern. So it's gonna be like no masters and G. So again, you're gonna do that strumming pattern once for every chord. Again, the lyrics and chords will be in the description, so you can copy and paste that. So now let's talk about the verse of this song. So for the first verse, which is the beginning of the opener of the song, I like to just do down strum. So it's gonna be like, My lover's got humor, she's a giggle at a funeral. So that part, you can just do down strumming, which I think it sounds really cool, especially in the beginning of this song. But for the first, second verse, if it's like, I'm a pig for the good times, that part, um, you can do this strumming pattern. So you're gonna start off with an E minor. So it's like, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And then you're gonna switch chords to the A minor. And the, for the A minor in the verse, it's always gonna be played like this strumming pattern, which is, down, chuck, up, and then you go to the next chord, which is going to either be the E minor or the G. So it's going to go E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, G, A minor, E minor, A minor, D, C. And then it goes next into the next verse so again you're just going to be playing for the chords that are not a minor in the verse it's going to be down chuck up up chuck up and then the a minor gets a down chuck up and then you go back to the next chord which is going to be uh, either an e minor or a g so again let's just go through the entire verse uh, for the first section of the second verse so it's going to start off if i'm a pig and for the good time so that part is going to be e e minor a minor e minor a minor g a minor e minor a minor d And then you go back to something's meeting for the main chords. So that's it. Congratulations, you now know how to play Take Me to Church by Hozier on the good old uke. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video. Thank you so much to Eat My Uke for doing that visual that you just saw right now. It makes my channel look way more professional, so I really appreciate you. Uh, and what else? Follow me on Instagram. It's just at Ricky Somborn. We, we have reached over 55,000 Instagram family members and I would love for you to join say hi send me a DM if you have a question of like ukes songs whatever I'm most reachable on Instagram through DM so just add me and say hi if you have a question let me know your question and I will respond as quickly as possible but also again in the comments section I'm definitely most reachable as well I usually respond to every single comment that I get on these videos because I don't get that many so if you want to leave a comment below I would love you and uh, what else that's pretty much it oh also as I said in the, uh, the middle of the video I said I was going to talk a little bit more about this uke this is the Lava U Ukulele uh, from Lava Ukulele and this is their tenor size uke it comes in this deep blue which is amazing it does come in a few other colors this look of it is just absolutely amazing the sound hole is right here and there's a button in the mid or inside of this hole that you can control and turn on the effects so if you're going to focus there you go so you can control the chorus echo delay the volume the reverb all right here so you don't need an amp but 
you also have a section for the amp as well that you can plug in. So highly recommend this uke if you do want to check this uke out. I'll have links in the description below. It'll be for the different places that you can order these on Amazon for the different countries. So definitely go check that out if you are interested in getting this uke. I've had this uke for about a week and I'm obsessed. One of my favorites, I feel like Every uke that I get, they're always my favorite, which they are. But this one has been such a standout in my collection. Again, it doesn't, it doesn't look like anything I have remotely close to anything that I have in my collection. The color is my favorite color, which is blue, and it's a deep blue, so it's so cool. It feels amazing, it sounds really good. And again, you have those controls that you can kind of edit the sound, reverb, chorus, echo, delay, that stuff. So highly recommend this uke if you're looking for an amazing uke. And it also has the built-in um, effects as well in it. Highly recommend this uke and it is super light and it's just really cool. The body of it is so different and I'm just, I'm a Lava U stan, you know what I mean? We stan this uke. So again, thank you so much to Lava for sending me this. Again, links for everything will be in the description below. Also links to all my socials will be down below and make sure to check out the full play along that I'll be uploading in a couple days. So make sure to learn the song and then once I do upload that play along, you'll be ready to go to play along with me and sing, harmonize, whatever you wanna do. Let's do it together. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you hanging out for these 10, 15 minutes. I really love hanging out, learning a new song and just relaxing and just hanging out in the vibes of the music. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. And also don't forget to leave your song recommendations down below. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna stop talking and shut up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.